Uh, I'm certainly thinking there'll be no peas that need fishing out of Mark's dish today. No peas? There's no peas in this right. dish, surprisingly. Oh, nice. There's lots of green things in this dish. That looks very simple, but it's going to be tasty as. What are you making? That's it. So we've got stir-fried squid, black yeah. bean sauce. So this is one of my favourite sauces in Chinese Yum. cookery. Uh, really simple. Lots of like nice arom aromatic flavours in there. We've got ginger, garlic. Cucumber in there for something a bit different. That's nice. really good. It's okay. going to soak the sauce up, give us a nice crunch. A little bit of chilli for some heat and uh, a spring onion for some freshness. But I'm going to show you how to prep the squid, stir fry it so it's nice and tender. Because looking at those ingredients, it doesn't look like it's a substantial looking stir fry, but it's all in the squid, isn't it? All in yeah. the squid. There's enough for me. <laughs> There's enough for you, <laughs> sweet ass. Okay, get a pen and paper and start making a shopping list. This could be your dinner tonight. We'll get this started very soon. Great to have you with us. We are in the Beko kitchen for a squid stir fry recipe today. And some people get a little bit scared of squid. We're going to show you how easy it is to turn it into a delicious meal. So what are we going to do first? That's it. Well, it's all about preparation, so mm -hmm. it's going to be really fast there. Uh, one pot wonder again, yes. but the key is to prep everything first, so that's what we're going to do now. So I've got some uh, ginger and some garlic, so I'll finally chop that. That's great. You can grate the ginger if you want, um, or even bite in those jars in the supermarket. Okay. You, you like buying things yeah, already I do, done. Yeah, I do. Keep it but easy. But they're actually really yeah. good, you know, and, and you know, you get a big pot of it, keeps it in there, and it's, you know, it speeds everything up. Nice. Right, so some spring onions. Yes. I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave them quite chunky. Okay. You know, I want to. It's a good couple of centimeters long. Yeah, yeah, something a little bit different. And we're gonna stir fry these. We'll get a little bit of colour on these. Um, you know, the green parts will give it some nice flavour. They'll be nice and soft. We'll get a nice crunch from the um, the white part. Nice. So that's good. But a chili. Texture. Yeah, exactly. So it's a few slices of chili. Mm -hmm. You know, you can use a red one if you want. But you know, we've got lots of green things in here. Um, so it's quite nice to sort of you know mix it up a little bit. Yeah. Brilliant. That goes in there. Um, Cucumber, same again, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to quarter them. Okay, and you leave the skin on? Uh, yep, I'm going to leave the skin on, that's okay. fine. Um, I'm just going to take a little bit of the seeds out. I want a little bit in there. Why do you, you, know? take, the, why do you take the seeds out? Because there's quite a lot of seeds in there. It's and then too watery. Yeah, as it warms up, it's going to sort of loosen and go okay. really watery. But I'm, I'm going to leave a little bit in there, because that's going to give us a little bit of texture. But just, yep. take, just take a bit out, you know, all okay. that extra stuff. It's just going to dilute the sauce. Okay, good tip, thank you. Right, so um, cut them again and, uh, you know, into some nice chunks. Okay. It's all about, it's all about texture, chunkiness, um, you know, spring onions not going to take long to cook. Cucumbers, yep. you're just basically warming them up. You still want that crunch, okay. uh, which is great. So we're using all these ingredients because they, um, you know, they don't take long to cook. Brilliant. And the squid doesn't take long to cook either. Right, so what we want to do is top and tail. Keep okay. those bits, right? Yeah, I'm not going to keep them today, but keep those bits, and then you can, you know, you can just uh, dust it in some rice flour, put it in the deep fryer, and just cook them for a couple of minutes. It's mm, really yeah. good, right? So then we open it, and we just want to sort of scrape any of the membrane off in here. Okay. So get rid of that, or just use your knife and just run it flat, and then on the inside of the squid. I've never, I've never prepared squid before, so this is good. Sharp knife on the inside of the squid. You want to do. Some nice little cuts and incisions all the way across. Keep it really tight, close together. You mm -hmm. don't want to go all the way through, sort of three quarters of the way through. Right. So you just sort of score in it. Just take your time. And then, you know, you can do it one side if you really take your time, or you do it the other side as well. You get it nice and crisscrossed. And do it as a whole piece. And then, all you need to do is just cut it into little strips. And that is your portion there. So if you have a look at that, you can see that Brilliant. score in there. Yeah. And then when we cook it, it's going to cool. So I'm going to finish off the squid, and we're going to come back, and then we're going to stir fry it all together. That's how fast it is. Well, that was nice and easy, wasn't it? And we'll get the next steps to create the sauce for the squid and show you how to cook it very soon. We need to make this black bean sauce and get our stir fry all underway. We've done all the prep, so we're pretty much we're, ready to go. Yeah, we are ready to go. We're also going to talk about that uh, ass. Score. Yeah, the ball score. Yeah. That was a bit rough, wasn't it? <laughs> supposed yeah. to be the nice anyway. judge, isn't she? Oh, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so got a wok on that, nice yes. and hot. hot get wok. the oil in. Yep. Get it hot. Uh, ginger, ginger and garlic goes in there. Right, stir fry it, keep yep. stirring it. So you're going to release all those flavours. We've got our squid. That's going to go in now. Okay, well, it's not going to take long, is no, it? No, no, so that, so that goes in. So all those flavours are going to go in the squid. You want to keep that high heat on there. And as the squid cooks, you can see it's going to start curling. Yep. You know, the, the time cooking squid for a long time is the you know the downfall of squid, right? Because you're going to keep cooking it, keep cooking it, and then it's just going to turn into rubber. So you want to cook it as um, you know as fast as you can. 
Okay, cool. Right, spring onions go in there. So you can see how fast this is going in. Yes, normally you it? have the spring onions towards the end of the cook. Right. You know, and they're already in there. Okay, <laughs> so we're just about at the end. Little bit of chilli. Well, yes. it's, it's still a couple of minutes away, but, but this is how fast it is, you know. Smelling and then, fantastic too, and you're right, it is all, it is all curling up thanks to the scoring. That's it, right, so I've got some... A lot some, of scoring um, in today's show, okay. isn't there? <laughs> I've got some corn flour here, so a little bit of corn flour in a bowl, yep. a little bit of water, and then we just make that slurry, so that's going to help thicken the sauce a little bit, and then that's what we're going to start doing now. Okay, great. Right, I've got a little pinch of sugar, that goes in there, we've got some sesame oil. Oh yes, love sesame oil. Uh, some of the Chinese cooking wine, that mm -hmm. goes in there, um, oyster sauce, mm -hmm. you know, so we're just starting to build up all these flavours. Uh, black beans. Okay. So these are fermented black beans, so you get this wicked flavour from them. And that's the most important, I would imagine. Yeah, that's it. Um, soy sauce as well. You know, bring all that together. Oh, I'm liking the look of this dish. You know, Simple, tasty. Cook, cook it in that yep. sauce, and as you're cooking it down, you know, it's getting thicker there. You can add a splash of water if you want. You don't want to okay. add too much because, you know, we're very, very near um, finishing. I'm going to put a little bit of the corn flour in then. That's going to just come up to the boil, cook out, it's going to thicken it. This is the time we put the uh, cucumber cucumbers in. in and we're just going to warm them cucumbers. So literally another 30, 40 seconds there, yep. that is ready to go. Taste it, you know, a bit of lime if you want, coriander if you want, you know, you don't have to, you've got enough green stuff in there and that is ready to go. We've got some rice cooking as well in the, um, in the rice cooker. So we're multitasking, that's not ready yet, we're okay. ready. And then Brilliant. all we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to um, make a nice fancy pile. Nice. Oh, I'm going <laughs> to show you how to present rice really, really that funky. That is so quick, isn't and that, it? And that is it. That is, you don't want to cook it anymore. Love Spread's it. cooked. It'll be nice and tender, full of flavour. Great. Bob's your uncle. Thank you so much. Get the recipe at thecafe.co.nz. Could be your dinner tonight. Wow, this looks amazing, Mark. Thank it's you. come out really well. Beautiful. I had a little taste before. It is mm. sensational. What is on the menu tomorrow? Right, tomorrow we've got a classic Indian takeaway dish, a firm favourite, chicken korma. Yeah.